Looking live at the White House, the U.S. is demanding an investigation after what is being called the government hijacking of a passenger plane in Belarus. The dictator there was after a journalist and a political opponent. CBS correspondent Deborah Alfaron on the scheme that led to a forced landing and international outrage. Brian, a video has now surfaced showing that detained journalist Roman Pratasevich, and he is confessing to organizing mass riots, and he also says he's in good health. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is demanding for him to be released, and this whole thing seems like it's out of a movie, but it's real. Welcome to a more. The U.S. is condemning Belarus after it forced a Ryanair jetliner to make an emergency landing in order to arrest Roman Pratasevich, a dissident journalist on board the flight. It constitutes a brazen affront to international peace and security by the regime. We demand an immediate, international, transparent and cred cred credible investigation of this incident. <inaudible> Belarus released a new video showing Pratasevich in custody, allegedly confessing to the crime of organizing mass riots against President Alexander Lukashenko. The Ryanair flight took off from Athens bound for Lithuania, but was diverted just two minutes before it entered Lithuanian airspace. The pilots were told to land the aircraft in Minsk because of a potential security threat. One passenger says Pratasevich, who's been living in exile, seemed to know he was in trouble before the plane landed. The Romans stand up to really open the, uh, let's say, luggage uh, door, take the luggage, and was trying to split the things, like computer, give it to a girlfriend. Belarus state media reported that President Lukashenko himself ordered a MiG-29 fighter jet to escort the aircraft down. The U.S. stopped recognizing Alexander Lukashenko as Belarus's legitimate president after the 2020 election, which many observers say was blatantly rigged. But while the U.S. and other Western powers say Lukashenko's authority is not legitimate, he does have a very powerful ally in Russian President Vladimir Putin. The president of Ukraine is banning flights from Belarus and Lufthansa, which is the second largest carrier in Europe, is confirming to CBS News that they also have suspended operations over Belarus airspace. In Washington, Deborah Alfaron, KPIX 5.